Carefully. That, that, turn that. Whatever. Whatever. I can never figure out microphones, uh, which is why I never get booked. Uh, <laughs> but I finally got a feature, so I'm really excited. Uh, so before we get started, I just want to clear some confusion. Um, so I'm, I'm non-binary. I go by they, them, their pronouns. So, um, I know what you're thinking, majority of you, but she looks like a butch lesbian. And if you're over 55, you're probably thinking, wait, he's a she? Um, no. Uh, the truth is I'm neither. I'm non-binary. So, uh, what I'm hoping you're thinking now is, wow, they're really funny. I can't wait to see them at a sold out show at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> doing a Netflix special. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, give yourselves a round of applause for making it this far in the show. Thank you for staying. Thank you for staying. Um, I recently turned 27. And I composed a list of 27 lessons that I have learned. Like I said, I don't know how microphones work. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Just work with it. <laughs> All right. Uh, there are two kinds of anarchists. Uppity... Man, they need brighter lights up in here. <laughs> Thank you. This is Izzy. <laughs> there are two kinds of anarchists. Uppity, inaccessible, idealistic, circle all the A's to seem cool and hip assholes, and potheads who have pretty good ideas. <laughs> when you almost die from choking from a lollipop as a child, you will develop a fetish for being choked. Maybe Freud was right. Uh, wear contacts in mosh pits, but not at protests. Always pick up hitchhikers in the day. Goth dance clubs are amazing to trip in. Feel the walls, be the base. You're totally gothic, even if you wear a red plaid shirt and khakis. Gothic is a state of mind, not fashion sense. Don't drink so much at an open bar at a wedding reception. You will end up in the woods, crying beneath the full moon. This is not what the bride and groom wanted. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Following your heart is usually the right choice. White passing privilege exists. I have gotten away with being drunk, high, tripping balls in public, dancing in public water fountains, and driving with expired tabs and expired insurance. <laughs> being 12 years old is not too old to learn how to ride a bike. Forgetting meds is bad, especially if you keep forgetting. If that happens, try to remember that your friends aren't actually undercover cops, and you yourself are not a secret agent. The easiest way to ruin a friendship is to move in together. Likewise, the best way to get to know someone better is to move in together. No one cares about that damn article about cats' stress levels rising from being petted. 15. Red wine is superior to white wine. 16. Be careful when feeding llamas. They do actually spit on people. And it's not actually spit, it's more like sneezing full of grass and mucus. 17. Being a pirate for four Halloweens in a row is R okay. 18. If something. What? Oh, if something sounds outlandish, it is most likely sarcasm. 19. Don't take easy access to laundry facilities and dishwashers for granted. 20. Even though Washington is notorious for its rain, locals and new transplants will talk about it a lot. 21. 
upside down on an amusement park ride is a completely acceptable place to take a phone call. <laughs> 22. I like cats. Cats remind me of me. Demanding of pets and attention, cold and aloof, fond of boxes and other cramped spaces for comfort, and we both have taken a shit in a stranger's backyard. <laughs> 23. If you forget to turn the fan on before taking a shower, it's probably a good idea to not masturbate because you will overheat, pass out, and give yourself a minor concussion. 24. <laughs> You're never too old to pee in the pool. 25. Hipsters are really just nostalgic 90s kids who miss the olden days of Ness and hand-me-down clothes from their older siblings. 26. People are going to react to your pronouns in a variety of ways, ranging from bigoted, transphobic, grammatically correct douche to loving acceptance. Think of it as a litmus test for how to determine who deserves your time and friendship. 27. <laughs> Thank you. 27. Final Fantasy VII is best Final Fantasy. <laughs> I finally got to finish the list. <laughs> what? This is actually the part of the show where I do crowd work. What was that? <laughs> what, what's your favorite Final Fantasy? Three, eight. Three and eight. Ten. Ten's, ten's pretty good, pretty solid, but I, I still think seven is best, so. <laughs> I could I, I I actually prepared a set. I'm not gonna go into all of the like the technical details why seven is better because I can get a little autistic about it. So just to spare everyone, because I only have like ten minutes left, we are not going into this argument. Um so uh sometimes uh not sometimes, I've recently discovered that there's different levels to my paranoid delusions that I have. So, level one is, I think people might be talking about me behind my back. About everyone else behind their back to a secret agency using my phone as a tracking device. <laughs> and everyone that I know and love and care for is in danger. Now, there's only one problem with this scenario, and I wish I would remember it, is it's me. <laughs> I can't be a secret agent. <laughs> like... I bowl with an eight pound bowling ball and I spend my free time cuddling my cat in bed while playing chess on my phone. Oh, here it is. This is our guy. They drive a Honda Civic with over 260,000 miles on it. That thing's gonna break and we can like infiltrate the drug cartel and all the mechanics around Olympia. Because <laughs> that is where we are going to bug their phone while they're in the mechanics waiting room for their car being repaired. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm still working on that joke, so thank you for just suffering through that with me. <laughs> um, what else? Oh yeah, so um, occasionally I hear voices. Um, and I've been studying Spanish, and I've realized that I've gotten a lot better at Spanish because the voices not talk to me in Spanish. <laughs> but they don't make any fucking sense. So, like, I'll be, like, lying in bed, trying to fall asleep, and I'll hear something like, Conejos, pendejos, ojos, huevos, <laughs> caminando, and like, if anyone knows Spanish, that doesn't make any fucking sense. It's literally like, rabbit's eyes, eggs, walking. Like, could you at least like, make some sense? So I'm trying to go to sleep. Um, so I only have one more joke left on my set list. I should have timed this better. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I do have time to talk about Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> um, so my last joke is, uh, uh, so recently I had a friend on Facebook post about the uh, medical benefits of physical contact with people and how it lowers your cortisol levels. And cortisol is a drug that um, is released when you're stressed out and it does a lot of damage to the body. 
because um, it's supposed to like like uh, enact your fight and flight senses or whatever. Um, sorry, I'm a psychology student. <laughs> Let me tell you about cortisol. Um, <laughs> the stand up open mic. You know, someone talked about lizards, so I can talk about cortisol. Um, to educate you all. Uh, so, a nice pickup line, I guess, would be, Hey, baby, I saw you were a little stressed. Maybe I could lower your cortisol levels with a back rub. <laughs> you and me, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give it a shot, and then I'll let you all know later how it went. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, I have some one-liners that I can remember on the top of my head. Actually, they're more like, um, I'm going to ask you a, a rhetorical question and then answer it with a funny hook. So, uh, why did the psychiatrist vote for Zachary? Why? Because they were pro-Zach. <laughs> why did Freud cross the road? Why? To fuck his mom. <laughs> um, uh, how do psychologists drink their wine? Ow. Freudian sips. Oh. <laughs> um, why did the hot dog get pregnant? Why? <laughs> it wasn't wearing any condiments. <laughs> um, so I just realized that I, uh, I, um, <laughs> I forgot to uh, tell two jokes, actually, when I was explaining about my gender. So I'm going to tell them now. Segue. Like, like the ones the police drive on campus, which is a really interesting joke, actually. I'll just segue into that. Um, so, I was on campus the one, the one night, and like, the library is pitch dark. There's no one on campus. I was like, coming off of work, so, uh, we close at midnight at the computer center, and so I'm leaving, and out the doors of the library, which is pitch dark, is a cop on a Segway just drives out of the library, through the library lobby, and leaves. And I was thinking, man, what if like the cops on campus like go around to obscure locations and Snapchat locations where they're like masturbating? <laughs> and I just can only imagine where else that Segway has been. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's I've been flashed my time. Thank God. This was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Give it up for Jackson Rodriguez.